Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly general message, general and love. Uh, so we'll pull for general and love. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Cancer. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Cancer, let's pull for the general energy here. Let's see what's going on for my Cancer. It's the general energy. The general energy is the Page of Cups. All right, so if someone wants to reach out with a loving message, uh, friendly, uh, there's a need for more romanticism in your life. There's also a need for emotional growth, emotional maturity. Good news, happy news, a happy surprise is on the horizon for you. Um, but make sure that you are taking the relationship uh, to the next level forward. If uh, there is a need to do that, you also could be meeting someone new here. Also, with, with the Page of Cups, with this being general energy, it talks about good news surrounding business matters, uh, surprisingly, with the Page of Cups. Um, so if you are expecting some news surrounding whatever business you're in, uh, whether it's, you you know, uh, it could be legal business, business, it could be any type of business, business matters. If you're waiting to hear back from, if you're waiting to get news of, do know that the news, uh, it'll be something that you want to hear here. Okay. Uh, let's clarify this general message. What's going on here? Also could be a new person, younger person, seven of wands, interesting energy. Um, make, there's somebody here trying to get your attention. Maybe someone where you don't have a lot of affection for, but I mean, there's, there's love, there's likeness here. Okay. Uh, the seven of wands here. Maybe you just want to be friends with someone here. They want to be more. The Seven of Wands talks about someone coming in with a destructive influence, the Leo, Leo and Mars energy here. Also, it talks about um, someone trying hard to get a loved one's attention or trying hard to maintain it. So maybe this is you. This is what you're trying to do. This is uh, what someone else is trying to do. It looks like the boundaries are up, though. Someone has maintained their position, their front in terms of how they feel about this relationship, marriage, partnership, business. Um, someone feels like maybe the equality is off. Also, they, someone feels like um, maybe this person with this new person or this younger person or you being the younger person, I'm not exactly sure where you lie here in this cancer but someone feels like maybe this is only a friends with benefits sex only type of relationship it can't go any further so has halted the growth of the relationship this is how far it can go um let's see uh, what's going on for love for you what's going on for love then love for cancer the Ten of Cups, very nice. So you're very happy. Um, you have your family. There's an opportunity for you to, to realize something, or for something to come into realization, into the real world. It doesn't have to just be emotional anymore. Some of you, you could be dealing with the masculine energy. Um, they could be trying to remake or remodel or re-identify themselves in this connection in this relationship in this marriage they're trying to show up differently for you and maybe other people who are looking they want their reputation to exceed them to be good to so it's like it could be falsehood also someone could be posting images and uh you know posting on social media and putting out to the world that they're so very happy or they're trying to put put up this front that they're happy um, that um, yeah, yeah, that they're absolutely happy. That they're at the highest level of happiness. Someone also could have called a truce within a family dynamic if something was off, or the connection was off, the relationship was off. Someone is saying, let's just 
let uh, bygones be bygones let's be let's come back together it makes sense to um, call a truce it is what it is let's clarify what this ten of cups is about the two of cups very nice so maybe you have found um, a soulmate here you have found uh, it's uh, you're allowing yourself to fall in love it's the exchange of one cup for another it's the friendship and also the contractual, whether it's verbal, nonverbal agreement. Also, this could be marriage, you know. Um, there could be someone trying to come in between a marriage or a connection. Again, let, forgiveness. Forgiveness here. Maybe you're asking for forgiveness for, um, for from someone that you're in a family dynamic with. Uh, you want to heal the severed ties. It's best for you guys to be together than apart. You feel like the relationship is mutually beneficial. Let's get an outcome for the... You know, this is how somebody feels about you. Somebody feels like you are family. They want to heal the severed connection. They want to come back to you. They feel like this relationship is... Um, you know it fits them this partnership this union is divine you cancer could be wanting to only be friends with a particular person um, and you've kind of stood your ground are you standing your ground on that you feel like there's some trickery with this person like they're not, you're not getting the full story here or you're you're not getting the truth but this person just wants to come back to you. They could be acting on impulse and emotion. Let's get the outcome for general. What's the outcome for general energy? This, the five of swords here. Yeah. You feel like um, there's an air of trickery. Um, you have to question this person's motive or they have to question yours. To be dealing with an Aquarius, Leo, we have uh, what cancer like yourself in Pisces um, in the general spirit you feel like you have to question this person's motives and that's why you're keeping them you know at bay you're keeping them at, in the friend zone or or you don't want to further things or you have halted you know the relationship because you feel like they have ulterior motive you feel like they play mind games. They're selfish, they're aggressive, and they're out to get whatever they can get from you, okay? Um, and to give as little as possible. You feel like this is a losing battle with this particular person, place, or thing. Um, it's an uphill battle. It's one that you will not win. There are no winners here. Everyone is going to lose because there's so much at stake. Also, there's an air of aggression, selfishness, and dishonesty. You're not trying to suffer a defeat here. You, you don't want to be defeated. So, therefore, maybe you have stopped the relationship or somebody else stopped the relationship because they don't want to be defeated by you. Okay, in love, what's the outcome for cancer in love? The king of wands. Okay. So this is my cancer male. So if you are a male, this is you. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius also. Some of you, this is Sagittarius male also. Um, so it looks like somebody's going after their heart's desire. Uh, they're going to move in the energy of making something happen. Um, very fiery very passionate this is a person who is tied to their home they like their home they like to stay home um they made their home comfortable it looks like in love um that somebody wants to come back to you and it could be a fire sign it doesn't have to be or cancer male this is you you want to restore the family life, the connection with a particular person, okay? The Six of Pentacles, um, you want the equal give and take. 
You want the balance and the harmony to be restored here. You don't like that the power dynamic has shifted too. Like maybe all of the power is in someone else's hands. It used to be in yours. The Knight of Wands. Looks like someone's going to take some fiery, creative opportunity to push something forward. Um, to conquer a particular person. This is a honey tongue. This is a charmer. Charismatic, outgoing. Eight of Wands, yeah, it's like somebody wants to push something forward really quickly, um, maybe even sex. There's an energy of someone being obsessed with or infatuated with the other person, or this is them, you. There's also someone manifesting from a place of ego, not love, but ego. Um, also talks about the law of attraction. You know, you attract what you are, you know. The Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to restart a cycle with you. The Star card could be an Aquarius, and we see we saw that. Or you could want to start, you know, a cycle with the Aquarius. Um, what somebody has to offer here, Cancer, is just kind of like, you know very childish very bubblegum you know hard dick and bubblegum if it's enough for you then take to it but they don't have a lot to offer they just want your energy they want to be in your energy um again this is a time for evaluation this is a time to be working on you and trying to figure out what works for you wash rinse repeat uh, also see where you are in a, a never-ending cycle okay and try to break out of it because uh it looks like you're going to get the same thing over and over again nothing new okay and that could be for you cancer or the other person the cross watcher so it looks like there's an energy of love and i like you and i want to re heal the the connection and i want to come back to you and i want to reconcile i don't have much to give you but i just want you back will you please come back another cycle of this and maybe someone could be anticipating this cycle to start back up okay but it looks like somebody's you know standing firm holding their ground in terms of not going back because someone feels like they need to question the other person's motives they're just not pure they're not true so this is what i have for you cancer if it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. All the handles are below. Donate if you're feeling moved to do so by buying me a coffee. The link is below. Take advantage of the full moon ritual. If you want to manifest newness in your life, if you want to banish, take advantage of the full moon ritual coming up on August 22nd. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you.